Why believe biblical predictions? Because the prophets had to prove that they spoke the truth. Thesis Biblical prophets proved their authenticity by predicting a near future and a far future besides making end-time predictions. Importance According to the Encyclopedia of Biblical Prophecy, the Old and New Testaments of the Holy Bible together contain no fewer than 713 testable predictions, of which some were fulfilled immediately and others sometimes later, whilst the rest await their fulfillment. Logic before Israelites would trust a prophet's message, the prophet had to make predictions that came to pass in his lifetime. Before they would accept his message as scripture, others of his predictions would have to come to pass some years later. When both kinds of predictions had come to pass, Israelites would believe his predictions about end-time events. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare, before they spring forth I tell you of them. 21 Scriptural Examples 1. The Prophet Moses Thus says the Lord, About midnight I will go out in the midst of Egypt, and every firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die. I will raise up for them a prophet like you, from among their brothers. When you are in tribulation, and all these things come upon you, in the latter days, you will return to the Lord your God, and obey his voice. 2. The Prophet David Solomon your son shall reign after me, and he shall sit on my throne in my place, even so will I do this day. The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind, you are a priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek. As for me, I shall behold your face in righteousness, when I awake, I shall be satisfied with your likeness. 3. The Prophet Nathan because by this deed you have utterly scorned the Lord, the child who is born to you shall die. When your days are fulfilled to walk with your fathers, I will raise up your offspring after you, one of your own sons, and I will establish his kingdom. I will confirm him in my house and in my kingdom forever, and his throne shall be established forever. 4. The Prophet Joel He is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, and he relents over disaster. And it shall come to pass afterward, that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. I will gather all the nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. 5. The Prophet Elijah There shall be neither dew nor rain these years, except by my word. I will not bring the disaster in his days, but in his son's days I will bring the disaster upon his house. 6. The Prophet Elisha Go, say to him, You shall certainly recover, but the Lord has shown me that he shall certainly die. The Lord has called for a famine, and it will come upon the land for seven years. 7. The Prophet Obadiah The day of the Lord is near upon all the nations. Your deeds shall return on your own head. Will I not on that day destroy the wise men out of Edom, 
and understanding out of Mount Esau? Saviors shall go up to Mount Zion to rule Mount Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. 8. The Prophet Isaiah I have heard your prayer, I have seen your tears. Behold, I will add fifteen years to your life. By his knowledge shall the righteous one, my servant, make many to be accounted righteous, and he shall bear their iniquities. On that day the Lord will punish the host of heaven, in heaven, and the kings of the earth, on the earth. 9. The Prophet Amos An adversary shall surround the land and bring down your defences from you, and your strongholds shall be plundered. So I will send a fire upon Judah, and it shall devour the strongholds of Jerusalem. In that day I will raise up the booth of David that is fallen and repair its breaches, and raise up its ruins and rebuild it as in the days of old. 10. The Prophet Micah Because of you Zion shall be ploughed as a field, Jerusalem shall become a heap of ruins. You, O Bethlehem from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient days. They shall dwell secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. 11. The Prophet Hosea The thing itself shall be carried to Assyria as tribute to the great king. Ephraim shall be put to shame, and Israel shall be ashamed of his idol. I will return again to my place, until they acknowledge their guilt and seek my face, and in their distress earnestly seek me. Afterward the children of Israel shall return and seek the Lord their God, and David their king, in the latter days. 12. The Prophet Nahum Now I will break his yoke from off you and will burst your bonds apart. Woe to the bloody city, all full of lies and plunder. No end to the prey. Never again shall the worthless pass through you, he is utterly cut off. 13. The Prophet Zephaniah Gaza shall be deserted, and Ashkelon shall become a desolation, Ashdod's people shall be driven out at noon. He will stretch out his hand against the north and destroy Assyria, and he will make Nineveh a desolation, a dry waste like the desert. I will make you renowned and praised among all the peoples of the earth, when I restore your fortunes before your eyes. 14. The Prophet Habakkuk Behold, I am raising up the Chaldeans, that bitter and hasty nation, who march through the breadth of the earth. I will quietly wait for the day of trouble to come upon people who invade us. The earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. 15. The Prophet Jeremiah But seek the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile, for in its welfare you will find your welfare. Babylon is taken, Bel is put to shame, Merodach is dismayed. Her images are put to shame, her idols are dismayed. Behold, the days are coming when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. 16. The Prophet Daniel From the going out of the word to restore and build Jerusalem. An anointed one shall be cut off and shall have nothing and the people of the prince who is to come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. 17. The Prophet Ezekiel 
mark two ways for the sword of the king of Babylon to come. Both of them shall come from the same land. I will accept you, when I bring you out from the peoples, and gather you out of the countries where you have been scattered. The water was flowing down from below the south end of the threshold of the temple, south of the altar. 18. The Prophet Haggai From this day on I will bless you. The treasures of all nations shall come in, and I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. The latter glory of this house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts, and in this place I will give peace. 19. The Prophet Zechariah Those who are far off shall come and help to build the temple of the Lord. Behold, your king is coming to you, righteous and having salvation is he. Humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. They will call upon my name, and I will answer them. I will say, they are my people, and they will say, the Lord is my God. 20. The Prophet Malachi I will open the windows of heaven for you and pour down for you a blessing until there is no more need. Behold, I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple. Who can endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap. 21. The Prophet Jesus You know that after two days the Passover is coming, and the Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another Helper, to be with you forever. Then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Conclusion Be on guard against every so-called prophet and supposed holy book that have not proven themselves by their precise predictions that have come to pass. Crucified and risen from death, Jesus Christ declared, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled.